Bugs me! Brown recluse spiders. But what you thought was a brown recluse probably wasn't. How dare you, insect? How dare you interrupt? This is the bathroom. Lucas is not a brown recluse spider. Good boy. There are millions of spiders anywhere you go. And even though you may have seen one in a web or seen one scamper across the floor, considering the numbers we live with and the infinitesimal number of encounters actually causing injury, there's very little to fear, even though they are in virtually every home on the planet. Give me a house and I'll bet you $1,000 I can find a spider, especially here in East Tennessee. Most species fangs are too weak or too short to even penetrate human skin, not to mention adding clothing into the mix. No spider hunts humans, cats or dogs. If you get bit, it is extremely rare and either your fault or an unfortunate set of circumstances. Leave them alone, they leave you alone. Hellfire, you're this big, they're this big, you're not food. This is a wolf spider. They're hunters that stalk insects at night. The female carries the eggs on her abdomen and when they hatch, they climb up to ride on her back for a while. She still hunts with all them in tow. Now that's girl power if I've ever seen it. This has also been the source of nightmare fuel on social media and someone disturbs or squishes her and she's got all the babies on her back and the hundreds of spiderlings abandoned ship. <laughs> The wolf spider venom is pretty weak though, and it rarely bites you anyway. Our houses are usually too dry for them, so they spend most of their time outside. If they stay too long, they're just gonna desiccate and die. This is a brown recluse. Looks nothing like the wolf spider, does it? Well, everyone and their mother thinks they do and have seen them somewhere. At least until you put them side by side. Listen to the name, Recluse. So most of you that think you saw one didn't. You probably saw a wolf spider or something else. The recluse wants even less to do with you than the wolf spider. I guarantee I get a call at least once a month or more from someone worried about brown recluse spiders. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a wolf. In fact, in my 20 plus years in the industry, I've only done four brown recluse jobs. Four. Three of them were in the same neighborhood and two of those were next door neighbors. Now, when they infest a home, their numbers can be massive. But since they physically can't bite you without external pressure added, they aren't really that big of a deal past the icky factor, which can be pretty big. I get it. In fact, one of these houses had a cat, dog, and then a toddler with thousands of brown recluse and no one ever got bit. We put out over 300 glue boards and within a couple days they were all full. Still, no one got bit. There were so many that when I opened the attic door and shined my flashlight, I could just see a thousands, thousands and thousands of brown recluse eyes staring back at me. Now that's nightmare, nightmare fuel. Most people encounter brown recluse when they're cleaning out closets or attics or getting the winter clothes from storage. Other bites from a brown recluse happen by rolling over on one in your sleep because they're they are nocturnal uh, or putting your shoe on and there's one hanging out inside there trying to hide. In fact, there has not been one death in the U.S. since the 80s when they started tracking it. But if you find an article, send it to me. You can't ID a brown recluse by what everyone says, that violin or fiddle for us in the South shape on its back because other spiders have similar markings. On top of that, not all brown recluse spiders have this fiddle shaped coloring. You must count the eyes, two, two, and two. They have three sets of two. Some wolf spiders have a similar fiddle shape, but they have eight eyes in different configurations, depending on species with different sizes. The brown recluse eyes are all the same size. That's how you tell most spiders def definitively is the how many eyes and what configuration they're in. 
The venom of a brown recluse is a cytotoxin, which causes necrosis in the flesh. That means due to lack of oxygen and blood flow, the tissue dies. Uh, and you've probably seen the picture of someone with a crater of dead flesh in their arm or the leg, and that's, that's what it causes if it's left untreated. This type of injury can also be caused by a, a myriad of different other things, as well as staph infection. How bad your reaction is depends on your health and the amount of venom the spider gave you, etc., etc. They may just pop you enough to get you to stop whatever you're doing so they can run away. Uh, and, and might not even inject you with any venom, venom at all. Remember, that's how they hunt. If they dump all their venom on you and you're not food, uh, then it could take them some time to create up more venom and they're not going to eat in the process. Why waste it on you? Also, the spiderlings, which is the baby spiders, can't regulate their venom as well as the adults, kind of like uh, snakes do or baby snakes have trouble with the same thing, and they can dump all of their venom in, in one bite. They can't control it as well, so uh, the big ugly adults aren't the scary ones. If you get bit, grab an ice pack to help the pain and control the swelling. If at all possible, take the spider with you, even if it's crushed or in pieces, so it can be positively identified. Misdiagnosis could cause the wrong treatment, leading to other problems. Way too many times, customers have told me that their doctor told them they got bit by a spider. So smart, yet so dumb. There is no way to know what spider or what animal bit you just by looking at the bite mark. Take the spider with you, okay? You'll probably get a pill or a shot and you'll be just fine. When you wait to get treated, that's when all those nasty ulcers and craters and the dead flesh and all that nastiness happens. So go ahead and get it looked at, okay? Uh, remember, spiders, although you may think they're icky, they don't bother us and they eat other bugs that we don't want. They aren't stalking you in your sleep and rarely bite, even for the few who physically can. So, you want all the bugs, me? Spiders that are misidentified as brown recluse spiders. But I love to kill them. That's a bit of an entertainment. I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way.